Howdy folks, got a quick set theory proof for you in today's Wrath of Math lesson. A little while ago, I did a proof that if A is a subset of B, then the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B. And 32 minutes ago, Tajwar Terzo commented on that lesson asking what will be the reverse proof, the proof of the converse, the proof that if the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B, then A is a subset of B. So that's what we'll be proving in today's Wrath of math lesson. Always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. So yes, it does turn out this is true, and remember, like I said, I did a lesson a while ago proving the other direction, that this implies this, so I'll leave a link to that in the description, uh, but I'd recommend trying to prove it yourself before you watch that lesson after watching this one. So with these basic set theory proofs, I'd say there are two good places to try starting. First place might be Venn diagrams. You can draw a Venn diagram oftentimes to get a good idea of what's going on, particularly when you're dealing with some complicated combination of set operations. For this problem, Venn diagrams aren't really going to help us out that much with power sets, not super useful. So the next good place to start would be just starting with your definition. And we want to walk from, you know, we want to use the definition of subset to show that this is going to force this. So what does it mean for A to be a subset of B? Well, it means that any time an element is in A, that element must also be in B. That's what it means to be a subset. So that's what we need to show. So I would start with this. Let A be an element of A. Little a be an element of the set A. And then you want to try to take steps using what you know to show that this has to be true. That's, that's the basic approach I would take, and I'd recommend trying that. We're going to do a slightly different proof in this lesson that's a little quicker, because when we know the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B, that's a lot of power to work with. Quickly, why is this true, just intuitively? Should make sense. What does the power set of A contain? It contains the subsets of A. The power set of B contains the subsets of B. So this tells us that every subset of A is also a subset of B, so that should make sense that all of the elements of A have to be elements of B, and thus we get our desired subset relation. So now let's get into the quick proof. What do we know is a subset of A? We know that A is a subset of A. By definition of subset, every set is a subset of itself. And actually, since we're just going to write one line here that's going to end in our desired result, let me write it in the middle. We're just going to go down the middle of the board and then we'll be done. So we know that A is a subset of A. What does that mean relative to our power set? Because, you know, we want to get into the power set because we know information about the power set. Well, if A is a subset of A, by definition of power set, that means that A is an element of the power set of A. Wonderful. Okay. Again, we're just taking steps with the information we know. Now we've got into our power set. If A is an element of the power set of A, what do we know that means about A? Well, since the power set of A is a subset of the power set of B, Every element of the power set of A has to be an element of the power set of B. So this implies that the set A is an element of the power set of B. And look at that. The next line is the end of the proof. What does that mean for A to be an element of the power set of B? Well, by definition of power set, that means that A has to be a subset of B. Bada bing, bada boom, there's the proof. So I think that's a really nice, clean proof of this particular statement. But again, you could also prove it by just starting with an arbitrary element from our set. Let A be an element of the set A. And then you'd go through a very similar process to show that little a also has to be an element of B. So I would give that a try. And uh, yeah, so there's the proof. I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. If you appreciate these lessons on Wrath of Math, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider making a small donation or small monthly pledge. You can see links to PayPal and Patreon accounts in the description to help keep this channel rolling, and I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what